Hi everyone, my name is Ksenia. I'm a third year PhD student. I do my research in molecular biology at the University of Birmingham. All of my studies are funded by Darwin Trust Scholarship, which covers all of my tuition fees every year and also covers my uh, monthly expenses. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to get this full PhD scholarship in the UK as an overseas student. That entrance PhD scholarship is a full UK research council scholarship which allows people outside the UK to pursue a PhD in biological sciences. Darwin Trust studentship may only be held at a particular university in the UK such as University of Edinburgh, Birmingham, Cambridge, King's College University or as a European Molecular Biology Laboratory in Germany. Most studentships, around 20 per year, are held within the School of Biological Sciences at the University of Edinburgh Three studentships are given to the University of Birmingham, one to the Medical Research Council Laboratory of Molecular Biology in Cambridge, one goes to the King's College London and one goes to the European Laboratory of Molecular Biology. The Trust may also award one or two uh, scholarships per year to undergraduate students from Belarus to allow them to take the final two years of undergraduate studies at the University of Edinburgh. And I will tell you two most efficient ways to find your future PhD project. First one is a university website. As an example, if you go to a Birmingham University website, you can find the PhD course page with all available PhD projects at the moment. You can customize your search and find all of the projects available as a department of your choice. Usually supervisors upload the positions closer to um, September, October, so you will find more positions available closer to this date. You can also find the PhD project at the findthephd.com website. Here you can find PhD positions available worldwide. You can also customize the search and find the PhD in any other universities and any other country. Just don't forget to mention that you are an overseas student and need a funded project. If you found a PhD project that interests you, you can send an email and your CV to your potential supervisor via website or you can email him or her directly. And if you found a project early, September, October, you've got a couple of months of uh, free time because the deadline for Darwin Trust applications is the 31st of December. But before the deadline, in November, December, you will need to apply for this PhD project using an online system on the university website and get a conditional offer. Then, together with your uh, supervisor, you will have to apply for the Darwin Trust Scholarship. And by that I mean you will need to fill up a questionnaire which your supervisor will send you about your achievements, merits, scholarships, publications, um, work experiences and other things related to you as a future PhD researcher. And then based on your academic records, merits, achievements, you will be invited for an interview which will be held in February, March. By April, May, you will receive an offer from Darwin Trust about accepting the scholarship. And once you accept it, you will have to send this offer to the university website and get an unconditional offer and with that offer you will apply for the student visa. Studentship and the PhD project start together on the 1st of October. Before applying, bear in mind that Darwin Trust scholarships are very competitive and here I selected seven most important selection criteria for the applicants. The first one, students must hold a first or upper second class honors degree or its equivalent. A studentship may not be held by a student who is already a graduate of the university in which he or she is applying for the PhD position. A studentship will not be awarded to an applicant who is a UK national. Applicants must have obtained their first degree or their first master's degree no more than five years prior to the closing date, exception is a maternity leave. A studentship will only be awarded to an individual who has been accepted as a postgraduate student 
Wiesen University and has a conditional or unconditional offer. Students must satisfy the university's criteria of spoken and written English, such as IELTS TOEFL test. And your potential supervisor must not have other Darwin Trust PhD students. But those are not all of the selection criteria, there are much more. And if you want to know all of them, you can go directly to the Darwin Trust website and search there. Darwin Trust studentship uh, pays all of the tuition fees and a monthly stipend during four years. The stipend is around 18,000 pounds per year. During the third or fourth year of PhD studies, students can apply for a grant, which is about uh, 1,200 pounds, to present their work at a conference or attend an advanced training course or a workshop. If a student is not a resident of the UK, Darwin Trust will pay for your flight ticket from the home country to the United Kingdom. In the description, you will find all of the related links, which will help you to find your uh, potential PhD project. I really hope that you found this video useful. If so, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next video. I wish you luck. Bye-bye.